the industry, you thought maybe I could connect some folks together and uh, make a difference. But you guys were the ones who made the difference, you guys and gals. And uh, <laughs> it was just, a, it was an amazing experience for me. It's one of those things when you look back on your career, and there's always these memorable events, and often they, they, they tie to a disaster. And so, but it's when you come together like that uh, in a disaster, you build tight relationships, you're all working towards one goal. And at that point, we weren't really sure what was gonna happen. And I know many of you had spent many hours and hard work and you thought, wow, it's all gonna fall apart. Uh, but it didn't. And that's why we're here today, because you're gonna get to see what actually has happened in the last year. And you're gonna feel proud that you put it in that position so we could keep it going. Uh, if you hadn't done that, uh, your work, you know, that Jackson would not have, well, I don't know what we'd be doing. If, if you hadn't shown up last August and September and October when you did, I really don't know how there'd be water in Jackson today. So, um, you, again, I just can't thank you enough for what you've done for Jackson. I came to Jackson because I knew their folks were suffering. They didn't have drinking water. Everybody should have safe drinking water. I mean, I've been doing this for over 40 years now as a water operator in different, you know, different positions throughout the organization. And, and I, I just was bleeding for them. I was hurting for them. So having to come down, a chance to come down and help, and, and we didn't know what we're walking into when we come to the front door, you know. Um, but it was very, very rewarding for me. It, it was hard work, long days. But the people when we left in the evenings and went out trying to meet seemed so appreciative of what we're doing. It just made it all worthwhile. I, I feel proud of that. I'm very proud of it. Um, I'm glad we could help folks. I still feel a part of what's going on here. So I was so glad to get a chance to come back down and see what's going on. I'm very pleased by the work that's happened. I know, I know how much work there was to do. It can't be done overnight. It can't be done in a year. But it's going in the right direction, and I, I, I feel better internally seeing what I've seen today. It's life essential, and everybody deserves to have fresh, clean drinking water. Everyone's headlines in news, even up where we were, was Jackson, 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 water prices. In our organization, I started asking people, hey, we've never done a response like this. We've done hurricane responses and stuff for electrical mechanical. We've never done an operational response. And it was like when the, when the ask came out, my hand was one of the first ones that went up and said, yes. I, we feel connected as a community. We work with a lot of different organizations with water and wastewater services. And it's like a brotherhood. And you really learn to appreciate what everybody does and the passion they have for what they do. So I felt almost guided to come down here. It was something that was a purpose for me. I'm hopeful because what I've seen coming back down a year later that the community is in good hands. There's a plan, there's, a, there's support, there's funding, there's resources. None of that was here before we all showed up. And a year later, to see the improvements, the, the, the actual treatment improvements for the processes is astounding. Within a year, they've been able to do all this. There's all so much more to do, but what the effort they've made and the progress they've made in this last year sets, really sets the stage for this will never happen in Jackson again. Michigan was contacted and asked for a certain amount of people and I didn't understand what was going on here so I went on the web and I looked it up and I, what I saw was a child turning on a faucet and mud coming out of it. And what I said is uh, if that was my child I would want someone to help. So when Michigan said, will you go? I said, yes, I will go. I think kids should feel a bit okay and safe at getting a drink in the middle of the night and not have to worry about grabbing a bottle of water. I, I've never had to experience it unless I'm camping and camping full time is not something anybody should have to do. I think they're in a good, on a good work towards getting rid of all of it though. It looks excellent out there. I'm, I'm happy I was part of it and I'm happy they picked up and kept going. I wanted an opportunity to help another utility um, that's not necessarily in our area um, with some of the expertise and everything we have. As the call came out, it was something that we felt was necessary as a well-staffed and well-funded utility that we would help another utility in need um, to help deliver water to the families and children and everything living in the Jackson area. When we left, it was kind of unknown what was going to happen. We came in. On our first deployment, I was here kind of early. Our second deployment, things were really moving at that point. And when we left, it was kind of, we didn't know what was gonna happen. And um, I follow a lot of the Jackson News and everything now just out of interest. I read about it every day and everything like that. And seeing that the progress that they're making every day and the go into the plants today and see full staffing levels, see 
chemical feed rooms and everything operating as they would what we're used to seeing at home and everything like that. And I think it's, I think it's great that people, one came and helped and then we'll come back to celebrate it. The opportunity to get to come back was something because it's like when we left, we're like, I don't want to never know what happens or see anything like that. And the, the ability to come back and see everything and all the work and because a lot of the stuff we did then didn't necessarily seem like it was going to be useful but then they've taken repair plans and stuff that we put in place and now jackson water started implementing those and knowing that they have a they have a long way to go but everything's headed in the right direction um what makes me most hopeful about jackson's water system is the entire community being uplifted out of the current situation um the economy is not as great and people are suffering and so this is a way to kind of levitate everybody's well-being all at one time. Being an employee of the city of Jackson for many years to see where we've where we've come from and where we're going and to see uh, the progress that we have made throughout the years makes me very hopeful and makes me want to continue to work hard for the citizens, not for only just for Jackson Water, but the entire community of Jackson. Right. That day I was working for the city of Jackson. I was the um, executive office coordinator for the um, director of um, public works. And I was sitting in the office taking a lot of calls. It was a lot of people calling from all over the world wanting to come down and do community help. So I was involved in um, bringing people bringing water, um, asking what can they do, how can they get involved. So I was heavily involved with bringing people in to bring in to get um, to do some type of work, as even if it was just donating water. I wasn't currently at the city. I had just left the city, so I left in April, and it. it I, although I didn't have anything to do with the distribution system, I felt like it was partially my fault. I mean, it's a failure. You know, when you don't, when you don't provide what needs to feed the system, create the opportunities to do the maintenance, it's, it's, you know, it's a failure. And so as a contractor that I've left the city, I still felt a lot of guilt and held a lot of that. And that's, that's one reason why I'm here. We at Jackson, the 150,000 that depend on this drinking water every day, truly are in your, your debt and gratitude. So uh, again, thank you very much.